Hello, Marvelites! You're watching Marvel's The Pull List, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we read every single Marvel comic that comes out. We get super hyped. We want you to be super hyped, so we pick a couple of them, we pick a topic, and we tell you why you should read them. Tucker, what are we talking about? Big! Just big! Big! <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's just big. We've picked four big issues uh, with some uh, huge stories, emotion, uh, everything. Uh, how about we start with 96 amazing pages of Marvel Comics 1000. This is the one we've all been waiting for, so excited. It is the 80th anniversary issue. We have 80 years, 80 creative teams, all packed into one universe. We have this kind of through line story as told by writer Al Ewing, but then we have just some of the most prolific, amazing creators in comic book history, yeah. all packed into this issue. It's amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, also amazing is the end of the road. It's a big ending for Thor in issue number 16. Uh, I can't believe we are wrapping up six years of Thor stories. We still have King Thor to come from Jason Aaron, but this is the end for this series with Jason Aaron and Mike Del Mundo. And it is so big, so great, so cool. It sets the stage uh, for what could be to come for all the Thor characters. You know, you, maybe you see uh, Volstagg doing a little politicking. Maybe you see the League of Realms still working out there to save people. Uh, of course, Jane Foster is Valkyrie. We see lots of cool stuff. Uh, it all centers around the coronation party for King Thor and what that means. And, Dude, don't even show up to his own party. Because yeah. he doesn't want to. He's too big <laughs> for that. Uh, no, it's a really great story. A lot of fun. Some sad, sweet, wonderful moments throughout. Uh, yeah, so we're going from uh, big literal issue, big emotions. Now, how about some big monsters? This is Marvel Monsters number one. Uh, it's such a fun story because we dive into it alongside one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe, Kid Kaiju, and we literally go inside a book, inside the book, uh, and uh, we get just so many pages of amazing, monstrous pinup uh, uh, artwork. It is gorgeous. Like the level of artistry on display here uh, is something that is like rarely found. We, you know, there aren't many books like this. Uh, it is just a sight to behold. Uh, the kind of wraparound story is done by Cullen Bunn. He knows this character in this world better than anybody. Uh, it is just gorgeous, huge, monstrous stuff. Yeah. All right, last book is another big ending, big emotions in Spider-Man, life story number six. Now, with this one... Oh, wait, wait, Ryan. Um, we got an email from Chip about this. We actually. did, we did. Thank you, Tucker. Yeah. Uh, big Chip Zdarsky actually emailed us here at Marvel. He asked that we don't talk about Spider-Man life story number six. He's so proud of it, so excited for everybody to not have it spoiled for them. He doesn't want us saying anything about the story. And we won't. That's the coolest. It's just really, really big, really good. We know you're gonna love it. You have to check it out. Now there's like almost 30 comics out this week. You gotta learn all about them on Marvel's The Pull List, the podcast version. Get that wherever you get your audio and we'll be back with another episode next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe.